Hello and welcome back to The Nerdy Teacher with your host Linda. I'm here today with another colleague request. So my colleagues in my school have recently been asked to add hyperlinks into our planning documents to connect all the materials that we need for the lessons in case somebody needs to come and cover our lesson or in case we want to share the, the lesson plans or the materials with someone else. Um, a bit of a conversation with a colleague and I discovered that it is not common knowledge how to find the containing folder once you've found a document using the search function in Drive. So I wanted to do a little quick video to show you how to do that today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So as you'll remember from a previous video, I organised my Google Drive by numbering my folders so that they would appear in the order that I want them to. And I talked about naming conventions for um, files and for folders that you could use quite long names to be able to search quickly using the powerful search tool in Drive. Um, I want to show you how to quickly find the folder that things you've searched for belong to. Because I think that's something that maybe would be helpful. So I'm going to search for a document that I need to use. So I'm looking at my Clever Touch Board Refresher Training Notes and I've got them here. So I've used the search function, I've found them and I've got them open. But now I'm thinking, actually, I need the presentation to go along with this. Now, chances are I've been organised and I've saved that in the same folder as the notes. So what I can do is on my document, next to the title of the document, there are a few icons here. We've got the star icon. We've got the folder icon which says move and then there's a little cloud icon to see that it's been saved. If you click on the folder icon that says move, up pops a little box that asks you where do you want to move this to? This is the current location and next to the current location there is a little blue box with an arrow that says open a new tab. So if I click on that, it will open up the folder in a new tab and here I've got the presentation that goes along with that training. So a quick way to find the materials that you need once you've used the search function in Drive to find the other materials that go along with it. So for example if you're searching for some lesson plans for example <clears throat> There's a presentation that goes along with the lesson that I'm looking for. Once the document's loaded, the icons start to appear here at the top. I can see the folder that that's saved in. I can click on the folder that says move. And then I can select that pop out box to pop that folder out in a new window. And then I've got access to all the bits and pieces that go along with that. A nifty way to quickly navigate and find the things that you need in Drive once you've found one thing to find the other things that go along with it. And that's it. Simple as that. That little magic blue box with a little arrow poking out will get you where you need to be and hopefully help you to find your stuff in Drive now that you've got it all organised and all your folders are tidy and you're using the search function to quickly find things. Once you've found the thing that you need, you can use that magic little move button to pop the folder open and find the rest of the stuff that goes with the thing that you needed, which presumably you will also require. <laughs> Hopefully that's been helpful for you and I'll see you again soon. Until next time, keep your heart in education and your head in ed tech. Goodbye.